Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, I, you know, I wish I could post a little bit more often. I feel like it's always like at least a week, maybe a week and a half before I post the next video. Um, but things have been quite, quite busy lately. So on top of everything else, I also have a friend who is going through a really hard time. So a lot of my energy and attention has been there with her. Um, but I am able to stay on top of all the personal readings and thank you to everyone who has ordered a cord cutting session with me. Um, I feel like those are actually doing really well and I'm happy to hear about all of the really positive results. Um, so yeah, do know that I am still doing those at a discounted price. I had said, I think in the previous video that it was $130, but I was mistaken, it's $120. Um, and I will be making a post about it. I will. <laughs> All right. So today's reading, this is just going to be a general checkup, um, for the divine soulmate connections. Okay. Could be twin flames, divine soulmates. We're going to be looking into the divine masculine's energy as well as, um, what's going on with the divine feminines. So do keep in mind that this is general, so it might not resonate for all of you, and the messages might be general, we'll see. But if you'd like something more specific for your situation, you can get a personal reading, and you can find all that information in the description box. If you'd like to know more about the cord cutting sessions, feel free to email me, and I will send you all the information that you need. All right, so let's see. What is going on with the Divine Masculines currently? All right, we have the magician in the mirror. Okay, so a lot of reflecting, um, and not only in reflecting, I feel like this is also like the magician in the tarot where certain ideas, certain thoughts are actually um, being brought to their reality in some way. Um, things are just manifesting, and I don't necessarily feel like it is the masculine who is intentionally doing this. The message that I'm getting here is that there's actually a lot of things that are happening in their, just in their lives externally and it's bringing about certain situations. Okay, really interesting. Well, I'm sure it'll clear up more as we go along, but let's see what else we get here. What else is going on here with the mask ones? All right. Yeah, okay. See, so we have um, third party self-worth and ascending. Third party does not have to be a, um, a romantic partner. It does not have to be a relationship in that sense. It can be just about anything, okay? So this is, I feel like it's confirming what I just said, that there's a lot going on in their external life that's not directly related to their feminine, but in some way it is, okay? And because of whatever is going on with third parties, be it work, be it other people, family, relatives, a karmic partner, um, a marriage, whatever, it's actually, whatever is happening there, it's working to bring certain things into the masculine's awareness, okay? And it's actually manifesting in relation to their connection with their feminine, okay? So I know it sounds a little bit vague for now, um, but just know that things are happening in their external world, which is, it's a good thing, okay? It's working in a positive way, especially in terms of their sense of self-worth. Um, so it could be just about anything. It could be just about anything. It could be, for example, um, certain things happening in, in, their, in their lives, right, with other people, where they're beginning to see that they um, don't deserve what is in their life, right? And this is a big realization because it's also helping them to ascend. It's like, it's being illuminated. And so they're beginning to recognize more and more their sense of self-worth and what it is that they do deserve in their, in their life and that they do deserve happiness, okay? So vibrating higher because of realizations that they're having from other people. It's like it's being reflected back to them, right? Magician in the mirror. All right, so let's get into the tarot. So let's see, let's see if we can get any more information <clears throat> about just what's going on with them overall. 
and then more specifically towards their feminine. So what is going on with the masculines? All right, we have the Four of Cups are all upright. The Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the High Priestess. Okay. So there's something going on in their, in their lives here that is really making them see, it's the same message, that's making them see that they're not happy, all right? Four of Cups, feeling like they're missing out. Feeling like they're missing out. And because they feel like they're missing out on something, it's making them um, a little bit restless and in this mode of um, wanting to take action. However, they're keeping this to themselves. So with the high priestess, they're not, they're not expressing this. They're feeling it. It's there. The energy is there. The drive is there. Um, and there's a lot of deep realizations here, right? Which is, um, it fits very well with the ascending card that we got as well. And what I'm also getting with this four of cups here is that whatever it is that's in their external life right now, they're not wanting it. It's almost like they're, um, rejecting it. They're rejecting other offers that are coming in at the moment or just things that have been in their lives. Possibly even feeling a sense of just boredom with that and feeling like, you know, this is, I'm missing out on something else here. So let's get a little more specific here towards their feminines. What is their energy towards their divine feminine? The Queen of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Five of Swords. Okay, so this is their general energy towards the feminine at the moment. There's a lot of clarity here. Um, there's a lot of clarity in terms of, of wanting the feminine. And I feel like this clarity, um, it's, even if it was there before, there's just something new or something different about what they're seeing now. And I feel like it's related to, again, to their external environment, to everything else. Kind of like seeing that they're not, they're not happy. They're in that four of cups. Right, rejecting everything else, being bored with it, feeling like they've missed an opportunity. So that's just making them see more clearly this Ace of Wands, that passion, that drive, the inspiration that they feel for their Divine Feminine. However, we do have the Five of Swords. So it's um, the Five of Swords, I mean, it's it can go either way. I mean, it, it can be, <clears throat> it's a little bit of a mysterious card for me. Because there, it can have some positives, but I do feel like in this sense here, it's that they're actually, um, again, it feels like they're not really acting on this at the moment. And if they are acting on it, they're acting on it in a way where they haven't found the best way just yet. So we are going to clarify that. Um, but before we do, let's... Let's see what's going on in their headspace. What are they thinking concerning their feminine? What are they thinking? All right, Ten of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Hanged Man. So this is what they are aware of. And again, it's like, it, it almost feels like it's the same like main message repeating itself over and over again, that they're not happy at the moment with the way things are. They're, they feel like they have this, they've missed an opportunity here. And what they're, what they're seeing is that, and again, this is related to this, um, to the clarity that they're having, not only for the passion that they have for their divine feminine, but in how what their life is like right now without the feminine all right and knowing with the seven of swords in reverse that it's because of their own actions that they are the ones who walked away from this in one way or another right it's going to be different for each of you and yeah they're they're, they're beginning to see this from a, a 
like I said, it's like seeing it from a new perspective. There's something different about this particular insight that they're having. So let's just get one more row here. Let me move them over. <clears throat> so let's see what is going on with the masculines emotionally. Queen of Cups in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Emperor in reverse. Okay, so they're not feeling um, they're not feeling great right now. <laughs> <clears throat> and this is also because, right, they're not in denial. They're having these realizations of what what their life is like right now. It's like all of a sudden just seeing clearly something happening in their world where it's being reflected back to them to see clearly what their world, what their life actually is like. Um, it almost feels like there's this sense of them having been living in autopilot and just kind of like going with it, you know, coming in and out of denial. Yeah, I feel this pain sometimes and then, you know, trying to get over this and then, you know, whatever, just a lot of back and forth. And it's like right now, things are happening where it's like, hey, look, <laughs> this is your life. Are you happy with it? Time is passing. All right, and I'm getting that with this Knight of Swords that they're feeling this, this rush, you know, like time is passing by pretty quickly and I'm still feeling this dissatisfaction. So with the Queen of Cups being in reverse here, they're feeling out of touch with their heart. Like, the, like their heart is not, it's not fulfilled. For a lot of them, they could be feeling like this is representing actually their feminine, right? Because then we have the five of pentacles. It's like they're, they're feeling abandoned. They're feeling rejected by the feminine in some way. Or they're feeling this um, fear of possibly losing their feminine. Feeling the loneliness and feeling like you know, they don't really know what to do about it. Hmm. Let's clarify some of these because I'm really curious also about this emperor being in reverse. It's like it's giving me the sense that they feel like they might be that they might be losing you and so they're feeling less than because of that. There's a sphere of the feminine possibly giving her heart maybe maybe to someone else, whether that's true or not. There's this, there's a fear of that for them emotionally. All right, let's see. Let's just clarify that top row, just overall. All right, we have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so clarifying the first row, right, which is the one with the Four of Cups, where they're feeling dissatisfied and also feeling this um, sense that time is passing, right? Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like this is all about time. It's like waiting, waiting for when are they going to feel fulfilled? When are they going to feel like, you know, with this Queen of Cups, feel that love? And it's like it's never coming. It's never coming in their lives because it's actually them that has to go after it. And so now they're actually feeling like time is passing. So there's like this big realization that time is passing and there has been a delay. Almost like time is running out. And so they're feeling like they need to go after their queen of cups. Because emotionally they're feeling like they're losing that. So let's see the second row, especially that Five of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there's a lot of focus here, right? This is like um, what I was saying about them having a lot of, a lot of clarity.
seeing things in a, in a different way. It's like this deeper clarity of what it is that they want. They know that they have to work for this, number one. And number two, they're very much focused on the inspiration that they, that they get um, from their feminine. But again, it's like there's this sense of them not, um, in their minds at least, they're either feeling like it would take either a lot of work for some reason, um, for some of them, okay, this might not be for all of them, but for some of them feeling like it would really take a lot of hard work <clears throat> in order to overcome a specific challenge. For some of them, they may even feel like, you know, they have to disappoint other people here with that Five of Swords. Um, maybe for some of them even feeling like they'd be betraying something. But then on the other hand, they're also aware of the fact that they feel like they have in some way in the past betrayed the feminine. And so I feel like they're really just kind of trying to balance out those, um, those thoughts and emotions. Something is feeling easier, th easier though here. Something to them is feeling easier. And it's because they, they, they get this inspiration from the feminine. So I don't know if maybe you, some of you have had some kind of interaction lately um, that has given them this boost. But there is definitely something here um, that's making it seem to them like, okay, you know, this is, this is possible. I just need to really focus. Let's see this third row here. The moon and the empress in reverse. Very interesting how we have both the emperor as well as the empress in reverse. Kind of like, um, it's like the energies are here, right? The divine masculine and the divine feminine. But they're both in reverse because, because they're not in this... Um, union, right? They're not connected at the moment. Things are not fulfilled. So there's, there's fear here, all right, with this moon. There's fear, there's doubt. Um, and again, it's coming in as there being fear and doubt about what the feminine is doing, what the feminine might do, and where things might end up. So they're very much aware of things at the moment not being happy. I'm actually even getting that the masculine um, feels that the feminine, even if the feminine is moving on, even if the feminine is... Um, healing, you know, focusing on herself, um, doing really well in her life. There's also this like, there's this deep feeling that the masculine has that the feminine though still wants the masculine, right? It's like that's there, but then there are the thoughts of that come in that say, okay, yeah, but you could lose this, right? Time is running out. So really interesting. So I feel like they're kind of battling with, with some opposing um, forces here and opposing energies. Okay, so let's see for their emotional space. The Queen of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Emperor in reverse. Page of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, okay, so for, just like I said, for a lot of them, they're seeing their feminine as being um, very desirable. And again, there's, this is the masculine having this, this fear that they might be left alone, that they might lose you possibly to someone else, regardless of whether there is someone else or not, okay? This is just what they're feeling, all right, for this group here. They're worried that the that the feminine is um, moving on to something new or at least exploring something new and that there are others here that are interested in the feminine. 
Um, so that's why they're feeling like this emperor in reverse. Even just with the thought that this is a possibility. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the feminine's energy and then we'll see what is what is coming up. So for the feminines, what is happening for the feminines? Oh, we have a happy family. Okay, so the feminine, that's interesting. The feminine is really thinking about what it is that he or she wants, right? What is it that you want? You want to be happy? How can you have love in your life, right? Happy family does not necessarily mean children, although of course it can include children. So maybe some of you are thinking about um, the possibility for children and, you know, um, the timing, <laughs> possibly. And then for others of you, it's just, you know, wanting a happy family with another person, right? Having somebody in your life or just dreaming about this. Let's see what else. Lessons, Dark Knight of the Soul, and Patience. Okay, you know what? I feel like, okay, some of you might be, you. some of you might feel like you're going through this now, okay, through this Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, and if that's the case, like if you're feeling this now, um, there is a lot that you're learning, all right? And it's, and this is all related to wanting a happy family, okay? So, and feeling like you possibly don't have that because you, you would want this with your masculine, okay? That's going to be for one group of you here. If that is the case, know that there, I know nothing is going to be very comforting or right? when we're in this energy, it's like nothing can really comfort us, but do know that you are learning a lot, all right? We have the lessons card. There's a reason for this. All right, and Spirit is asking you to just be patient. You know, you will get through this. Okay, you will get through this. Um, for others of you, though, I actually get that this dark night of the soul is something that you have come out of, right? And this is something that you feel like you have learned a lot of lessons from this journey and from actually going through this dark night of the soul type of a um, phase. Or experience and for some of you this may have even lasted um, quite a while and maybe you were in and out of this okay and one of the things that you actually feel like you have learned is patience and the reason why it's coming through is because sometimes you know we learn something but it doesn't solidify until like our awareness is really brought to it so it's like you know when you look back you you can say yeah you know what I actually learned what this means because patience doesn't mean just waiting for somebody. It's being patient, you know, for whatever is meant to come to you. Not feeling that sense of urgency and patience actually being a choice rather than, well, I, um, I don't have a choice, so I just have to be patient. That's not patience. Patience is actually choosing that and being okay with that. Waiting for something to come in and it just not coming in, that doesn't necessarily mean patience, okay? So I feel like the feminine has actually learned what patience really means and what it really is, like the virtue of this. Um, and I know I've said this before, but it's coming up again. So I do feel like there's like a new wave of feminines who have really understood what patience is all about. And it's not just, a, it's not about waiting for your divine masculine, okay? Um, so yeah, wow, really strong energies here for the, for the feminines. Let's see, we'll just get a couple of tarot to see any other messages that want to come through for the feminines. All right, wow, okay, King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Swords in Reverse. So what's interesting to me here with the Knight of Swords in Reverse, when we were just talking about patience, is the fact that the Masculines had knight, the Knight of Swords upright. And I actually related this Knight of Swords to like, 
you know, feeling like time is running out. So to me, this is just really um, emphasizing the point I just made, all right, about the feminines having learned patience, all right, being okay with the Knight of Swords being in reverse, basically, right, with not having somebody um, like your masculine rushing in towards you. You're not feeling that urgency anymore. You're in the space of being very, very grounded, King of Pentacles. And yes, for some of you, this could even be that there is someone else in your life, okay? That's just for some of you. But either way, I feel like you're feeling very, um, you're, or at least you're moving towards being more grounded, trusting yourself more, self-love, the Ace of Cups, and just trusting, trusting that you will have what is going to make you happy, right? That you will have this happy family, whatever that means to you. And not being in a rush for that, okay? Same, same message being confirmed here. So let's see for the masculines what is coming up in the next week or two. What are they moving towards? Alright, we have ooh, the Six of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the World card, all upright. There's a lot of nostalgia is coming up. For some of them, this could even be um, this um, wanting to reconcile. There could be some kind of some kind of contact, okay, if you're not in contact with the Six of Cups. At the very least, though, this is a lot of nostalgia reminiscing about the past because, again, they're having this clarity now, okay, so it's leading up to that. And not only that, wanting to put an end to something in their lives here. And I feel like it has to do with that third party, whatever, whatever it is, right? Putting an end to that um, sense of disappointment, discontentment, unhappiness, wanting this long journey to end, basically. Even, I would even say, wanting this wishing and this nostalgia to end, right? To complete this, this cycle. And yes, I feel like for some of them, they're actually moving towards manifesting that, right? Having had the Magician in the Mirror as the very first card, as well as having Ascending here. And there are groups of Divine Soulmates who are... Um, coming together, all right, during this time period. But for others, at the very least, as I said, this is a lot of nostalgia, reminiscing, and wanting to release this burden. So definitely moving towards closing out cycles. And again, for a lot of them, I do feel like they're going to be closing out cycles um, in, their, in their lives in general, right, with third, with third parties. So, yeah. Pretty positive reading this time. All right, so let's get a final oracle message here to close out the reading. And please do give me a thumbs up if this resonated with you. And let's see. All right, we have Observer. Yeah, so I feel like this goes back to what I was saying before about seeing things from a different, different perspective. Um, for the masculines, um, kind of like seeing that, you know, things are real, time is passing, and that yes, you know, there are these possibilities and potentials, at least in their mind, for the feminine to actually, you know, do other things in their lives. And so, yeah, they're watching this, they're keeping a close eye on you and on the situation as well as on their own situations. I feel like there's a lot more focus than there was before. So yeah, those were the messages for this week. I'm going to leave it at that. And next week we'll be doing um, the reading for um, Divine Soulmates where there's also a karmic situation. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.